Andrea, great to see you. And we're here yeah. on the eve of a new season. There's lots of excitement building. We've got a, a new livery and we've got a new car. How excited are you about what the, lies ahead? Well, it's always an exciting time, you know, when you see the season approaching, when you see the work that you have put together over the winter starting to come together, the parts that uh, actually arrive. So uh, we, we don't have a car yet because this car will be revealed on the 14th of February. Uh, we have a livery now, which we, <laughs> we love. And uh, like I say, exciting time, exciting time for um, everyone at McLaren. It's the same for all Formula One teams in, in this, at this time of the, of the season, really. Uh, but, you know, above all, at the moment, like always for us, it's just focus on delivering, focus on uh, uh, anyhow, uh, you know, continuing with the challenges associated with delivering a Formula One car. It's thousands of parts, so it's always looking like a little bit of a miracle when you see it actually coming together and, uh, uh, and you have a car. So um, that's this time of the year. So far, so good, I would say. Things have. Uh, have um, moved on smoothly from last year on to this year, so we will see uh, then when we have the car on track what we've been able to achieve. And in kind of moving smoothly from one year to another, you've had this opportunity to be team principal for that whole period, heading into your second season. Yeah. Do you feel like you've got all the tools in place now to feel quite comfortable going in with a nice pre-season and a year under your belt? Um, we have the tools. We have the tools from an um, infrastructure point of view. You know, we talked about this uh, topic uh, extensively last year, and now finally these tools have actually um, been used to develop the car in the wind tunnel. For instance, the MCL 38 has been entirely developed in the, at year at the MTC wind tunnel. This is really great news. Uh, for McLaren, uh, the manufacturing infrastructure, we are uh, uh, testing the MCL38 in the new simulator. So this is um, definitely very effective. We see the benefit. Uh, and then from, um, um, from a staff point of view, with Rob Marshall and uh, David Sanchez joining, we have added horsepower to the team and now we're working on integration, getting uh, Rob and David to know everyone at McLaren, benchmark the way we do things from a methodological point of view in particular, uh, looking at the car, looking at what's coming. And I think we will have an impact of these important, important additions distributed over the 2024 season and then more uh, uh, clearly on to the 2025. But um, again, like I said, so far uh, so good. Now, now obviously the car behind you isn't, like you said, the new car, but when we do get to see it, how different is it going to be to last year's model? Or is it going to be more, much more for revolution? Um, it will be an innovative evolution, I would say. I think there will be some areas of the car that, uh, um, you know, we show that um, there's been um, innovation, there's been some uh, um, steps compared to the um, MCL60. Um, but very often in Formula One, it's much more about the incremental gains that you can see in, uh, in all the areas of the car. So there will be some visible elements of uh, almost discontinuity with the past, but the bulk, the most of the improvement from uh, an aerodynamic efficiency point of view, mechanical grip, interaction with the tires, it will come from many details that not necessarily will be uh, so clearly visible. What then are the targets with this new car? Um, you just mentioned all of the new um, infrastructure coming online. You obviously had such a great year last year and with this kind of carry forward, I guess there must be a lot of hope that you can take the fight to Red Bull and kind of keep yeah. on that trajectory. So the investment on resources uh, is uh, ultimately to put a team in condition to uh, and for us specifically, uh, to, push, to put McLaren in condition to uh, keep the gradient of development that we established last year, uh, that led to the development of uh, Austria, Singapore. We needed to make sure that we are not plateauing now. We keep these uh, uh, gradients of development. This is what uh, we seem to have been able to do so far. 
and um, you do have to have these investments in uh, human resources, in uh, infrastructure, and then you need to keep investing on uh, continuing developing your uh, know-how. Uh, on all these elements, I think McLaren is in, uh, is in a good place, so hopefully this will be rewarded by, by results. But results will also depend on what our uh, competitors have been able to do. So for us, it will be important to see that uh, uh, we've been able to uh, deliver according to our objectives, first of all, in terms of car performance, but also improving some of the operations that definitely uh, highlighted some opportunities based on the 2023 season. And then we will see uh, on track where we are uh, uh, in relative terms based on what our competitors have done.